hello, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Let me just close the window a little bit. Um, so hopefully this time, in this uh, I couldn't find a monster, but not uh, we can find a and finally put this to bed. This whole what is this place section to bed? It's different from the rest of the ruins. I could have made this all one video. Nope, nope, it's fine, it's fine. If this would be a short episode, it'll be a short episode. I won't do anything. I bid you welcome, Pilgrim. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... The gauntlet tells the true pilgrims from the false. You will undergo four tests of faith, and we shall see how your soul fares. You will understand what it is when you face it. Ah, very well. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. Jarwin was discovered by the Templars. You were helping him. Tell me, do you think you failed, Jarwin? Found by myself dabbing blood magic. Must have been something more I could have done. No, I tried my best. It wasn't my fault. Um. No, he brought him upon himself. Then you do not dwell on past mistakes. Neither yours, nor someone else's. It's easy for others to judge what you've done in hindsight. But it doesn't make it any better. One wonders what this Guardian's purpose is. Be wary of his traps. What's past is past. Why bring it up and open all wounds? And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... Yes. If Duncan had been saved, and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... And you... Why do you say the Maker speaks to you, when all know that the Maker has left? He spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orlais, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. And you, Morrigan, Flemeth's daughter, what? Be gone, spirit. I will not play your games. I will respect your wishes. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. Wow, them being such a badass. Alright, cool. 
That was me. Sure. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? I need to hear that again. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? I don't know. Yes, I was Andraste's dearest friend in childhood, and always we would sing. She celebrated the beauty of life, and all who heard her would be filled with joy. They say the maker himself was moved by Andraste's song, and then she sang no more of simple things. Wow, that's right. So I had to do a whole bunch of riddles. Ugh, this is gonna be horrible. I'm no good at riddles. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? From morning light. One more time, because it's either the moon or it's dreams. Echoes from a shadow realm. Whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? I'm gonna say dreams. A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. Oh wow! I I was right. Cool. Um, yes, cause I'm really bad at uh riddles, and I really didn't expect it to be that. I thought it was with the moon. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong. That belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? Are they getting harder? Oh my god! Uh. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Home. Of what do I speak? I, I gotta be home. It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. Okay, okay. F having a steal, but yes, okay. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Vengeance, I know that one. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. Okay. I'm still gonna F5 after all of these, by the way. Just in case I mess up. A poison of the soul. Passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows. Till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Um. Slain. Jealousy. Right? Yes. Yes. Jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamoni. But beside her, I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? <sighs> okay. 
see the reason I'm going back and forth like this is because I think it's even harder. Like each section is just supposed to get a little bit harder than the last. I'm doing a second the bones time. of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? One more time. The bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? I have no idea. With mountains? Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tevinta into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. Okay. I can't believe I got that right. That was a lucky guess. Extremely lucky. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? I didn't have five there, did I? No man know it, but can fall. Hunger? Yes. Yay. Hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the Makers smiled on us. Okay. Now I have five, because this is the last one. They're not as hard as I thought they were. I mean, there was a couple that... She that's... wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Whoa. Um, let me say that one more time. She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Mercy. Mercy. Yes. I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and Mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. Oh my god. I... 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 Okay. Had fun with the riddle game? I didn't think I'd fool you. But am I really a spirit? Or is all this in your mind? Are you in the Fade, perhaps? Honestly, I don't know. I am part of the Gauntlet. I am Jowen. I am you. All these statements are true. And what is your purpose here? To speak to you and to offer advice. You have come so far since I saw you last. The last vestiges of your shackled life in the circle have all but fallen away. You are free of the past and nothing will hold you back. Be strong, my friend. Do not falter. I have something for you. Use it well. It makes me happy knowing you will be the mage that I never could. What did he give me? Lifestones? No. It can't be lifestones. A reflection. A 15% of healing. Is that what it gave me? Okay. 
reflection. Now you get 20%, uh, 25 percent to healing effects received. What is Morgan's plus sixty defense? No. Plus four spell. Kind of, I'm just gonna leave it with that one. Well, I have to give it one more constitution or have him with this one. I think I'm gonna leave him with this. I just put this on myself. Right or left, they go to the same way, so I'm just gonna go to the right because I'm right handed. Enough! Did somebody cast heroic offense? I see. Liliana, Alistair. I think taking care of Alistair first would be the best thing. All right. What does this do again? I forgot. Oh yeah. Yes. Nah, I just do this one. Nope, oh, wrong one. Um, let me honor. This. We should all take care of them first. No! If we must fight, let us do it quickly. Best thing. Be wary. So Liliana is gone. So now we should fight Danny. I see. The healer. So it is begun. Alistair. I didn't. Had it play. I also forgot to have Danny attack. Your Very time well. to die. I shall do it. And I said, Let's wait till our stuff finished regenerating. Is that it for Morgan? No, okay, I thought so. Tell me. <laughs> Excuse me. It shall be done. Okay, that's it. Cause everybody has active skills and that are active. Skills that are active. Uh oh. I'm terrible at puzzles. Hey, you see those thingies over on the side of that huge chasm? I bet they're used for something. Maybe I should touch them or stand on them? Alistair, normal people tend to avoid strange looking sections of floor thingies, as you say. They tend to be traps. You uh, don't really think they're traps, do you? Ooh, 
Look at that. <laughs> I don't think it's solid enough to stand on, but it's a start. Okay. All is well? Let me take Alistair off for this. I didn't do this again. Okay. And right there, I get Morgan to stand. So there's the trick. Each piece must be made solid in order for one of us to cross. Remove. Okay. So if I make Alistair come. Let's go. Here. Wait. Let's move these two. It's going to take minutes. Right. Oops. Okay, so I want Alice to step on one to S two. Of course. Morgan to come here, I think. No. No. Yes. Then I want the Nihana to come to this one. No, this one. No, that's not gonna work because if I do that, then it's gonna fall off. So I need two. I need the first two to light up. Right. Your word? What? Huh. This is... It's not... I don't think it's hard. I think it's just the fact that I can't actually uh, memorize which one does what. That's the thing. I'm finding hard. Okay. So this one does two. This one does one. That one does third one. This one does the first two. This one does the first one. This one does the first one and the second one. Uh, the second one and the third one. So what I need is this one. Alice is to step on this one right here. Right? I am here. No. Is it these two? I guess the first one. <laughs> this is really hard. Okay, so this is the third one. This is the f first two. This one is the second two. So if I do this, have Addison stand on this one. And then you stand here. The first two should be right. 
Um. What? I thought the first two were gonna be unlocked. That step on the wrong one. No. Step on this one. Okay, so that means then you can step here. Okay, he can't step there. No. Okay. This is... Mm. So you don't want the thing to be hit an odd number of times, is what I'm getting at. Right? So I want the first one to be lit up. Okay, now I want the second one to be lit up. Is that right? No. This one that light was the second and the third. Up. I know there's gotta be an easy way to do this, yeah. There's got to be an easy way to do this. I really cannot figure it out. And I love puzzle games. Like, I love puzzle games, but this is. It's difficult to tell which ones are actually lighting up and which ones aren't. And I know if I, uh. Put Danny here and then move Alistair Morgan. Perhaps only one of us needs to go on. There may be a lever or a switch on the other side if we're lucky. That happens. Okay. So let's do it this way. Yes? Let's use Liliana and just go through each one of these. This one is the third one. On the left, I need a piece of paper or something. Hold on a second. Okay. I think this will work. Let me go to the page real quick. Okay, so. Don't have the brightest one right now, but okay, whatever. Three. Okay, this one is four. This one is. One. This one is four. This one is also four. And this one is two. Okay. Alistair. 
Um, this one is three, same as the first one. But this one is one and two. This one is one, same as the third one. This one is two and three. Three and four. And two, same as that one. Okay, so I need somebody If I'm right, which I'm hoping I'm right, I need somebody here, and I need. Oh, wait, that's one and oh wait hold on. Nope, that's my one for Liliana. I need somebody here. Hmm. Alistair needs to be here, and that moves the first one. Then I need Morgan to stand here. Then it can move here. No, wait. One and two. No. Morgan needs to stand. Here. Then Danny should be able to move here. No? Why not? If I'm doing this right, maybe it's. Nope, not you. If Alistair. Let's take Morgan off. Then put Alistair here. That lights that up. If I put Morgan here, does that mean I can go to two? No. So which one does two? So maybe if I put Alistair all the way over here, stop stepping on the plates. Yes. The Danny can now move forward. Okay. Now I need to get to three. Which means I need to move Morgan from here to here. Nope. I need to move Liliana from here to here. Nope, that's not the right one. Um, I need to get to three. So then I need to go to this one. Right here. No. No, then I need to go to two and three, which is this one. No? It's, it's this one over here. I'm sorry. I got them. I got them too confused. And then uh, Alistair is at. It's holding two. And so is Morgan. So Alistair should go to three. Oops. No. Wait. Now I'm confused again. Ah, oh, my brain. Okay, you know what? 
I'm going to end this video here because my brain hurts. I will figure this out off camera. Uh, I thought I had it right too. Uh, oh my god. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to try and figure this out off camera. Because my brain is not working right now, as per usual. Excuse me. And I'm on for only 35 minutes. So I will see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed, which probably, yeah, whatever. Probably not, though, but uh, whatever. And I will see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye for now.